What's going on YouTube fam? Today I want to show you guys a quick look at your multicolor 3.0 Ultra Boost. Before I jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, first time seeing one of my videos, take a quick second, head to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my other content. Um, drop a comment down at the bottom, let me know what you think of the kicks and of the review. And go ahead and smash that like button for me too while you're at it. So here you go guys, this is your multicolor 3.0 Ultra Boost. First time we had a full multicolor pattern on uh, an Ultra Boost model on that I can think of. I, I don't think we've had one like this before. So when I first started seeing pictures of this, of this silhouette and this pattern, I was like, man, these are so dope. I hope they're not super duper hard and limited to get. Uh, and they weren't pretty much was a general release. Um, they're still sitting at some places. Just about everybody got them. Finish lines, champs, uh, regular Adidas stores, online and stuff like that. They were pretty easy to get. I was able to scoop mine up online. And then later, you know, later that day, I found out that, it, that they were sitting at the mall. So pretty easy cop, even though the box has limited on it. Uh, shoes are pretty easy to scoop. Uh, I think the pattern is pretty, is, is really dope. I think this shoe and the Chinese New Year's probably have to be two of my favorite, uh, patterns on the 3.0s and i'm gonna do a, a comparison video of the chinese new year and this one because when i first started seeing pictures of this shoe i was like man it looks so similar to the chinese new year and i have that one as well so i'm gonna do a comparison just so you guys can see that it is it's completely different pattern this one has so many more colors in it with that prime knit. and some people calling these rainbow or uh whatever but they're multicolored to me uh, size and wise on your Ultra Boost on your 3.0s. I've been going true to size. Some people have been saying you can go down a half size, but not to I mean, to me, there hadn't been that much of a size different change from the 1.0s and 2.0s to change sizing. So I've been sticking with true to size, and the shoes fit me perfectly. Uh, if you're in the market form, if you have wide feet, I would consider going up a half size. Um, other than that, true to size works perfectly for me. Um, so here you guys go, man. Just want to show you guys a quick look, give you some detailed looks of the shoes. I won't keep you guys too long. You know, I'm not a fan of running my mouth and, and wasting a lot of time. Just give you a good looks at the shoes and get it over with. But here you go, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's a picture of the box. And just like all other Ultra Boosts, you don't put the colorways on the boxes. I'm not sure why Adidas don't do that. But these were 200 and um, it's because of that LTD right there. Any of the limiteds, they... they jack them up 20 extra dollars but wasn't really limited because it was a uh, you know pretty much a general release to me typical boost box nothing special uh but here you guys go man check out the on feet if you want to see what these look like i'm gonna toss that up at the end of the video thank y'all for watching appreciate it peace